Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is Tweak here. So today, this is going to be a little short video giving my quick opinion on the new weight system. I keep getting asked over and over again. So I don't want to answer the same question like a thousand times a day uh, while I'm streaming. So I'll just be able to link people to this video. They can hear my thoughts on it. So the weight system has been out now for about like 24 hours. Uh, I've played the game for about seven hours in that time. Uh, we did all the interchange stuff yesterday, checked it out as you guys saw in the last video. And, um, the weight system, uh, I think it's cool. I have a few issues with it, but, uh, I suppose my main point of it is you can no longer, you know, just be a massive loot goblin. You need to really think about, like, what you want to grab, what items are of value that you want to take over other things so that you're not constantly overweight. The gear that you go into raid with now, you really need to think about that. You know, it's like, should I use this rig or should I use a plate carrier or should I use this backpack instead of this backpack? And you want to watch like the, you know, the penalties on the armor and on the gear instead now. It's like, it's definitely more important to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, as well as how many mags you're bringing with you, how much spare ammo, because it all adds up, all the weight adds up, how much you're modding your gun. <coughs> and all this stuff. Um, so I think in that regard, it's a good update. Um, the one thing, and I was saying this yesterday, and we had a similar thing with this last year, uh, when the new flea market changes came in with the dynamic flea market pricing. I think if they were going to add the weight system, I think it would have been better off doing it at the start of a wipe. Uh, in my opinion, uh, doing it now and just resetting everybody's strength and endurance to zero, I feel like isn't really going to give you an accurate representation of how it's going to be kind of going from, you know, level 65 You've got all the end game stuff, you know, you've got tons of money, you're running this gear every raid, etc. Uh, but now all of a sudden you have zero strength and you have zero endurance. Um, this only really affects like the end game people, the people who are like post level 40. Um, it doesn't really so much affect lower level people because lower level people, you know, you're running like light armor. You might be running like a scab BP or like one of the bear cut backpacks or something like that with like, you know, a hunter vepper and SKS and like guns without very many mods on them. So... I feel like if they were going to do this mid-wipe, I think it almost would have been better giving everybody maybe 20 endurance and 10 strength instead of just wiping everybody's endurance and strength back to level zero. Because now we're endgame, and uh, I've seen a lot of people complain about this, like, oh, we've spent all this time unlocking this gear, and, you know, we spent all this time unlocking our stats and stuff, and, you know, getting high endurance and high strength and all that, and then, you know, it's all gone. Uh, for me... Am I a little bit salty? I got 51 endurance two days before the patch came out. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a bummer. Um, I don't really personally mind, but I can see from other people uh, that they're a little bit upset about it. And I, I get that. Um, at the same time, putting everybody on an even playing field in order to test it out and see what it's like. Uh, I also completely understand that as well. Uh, but I still think that it should have maybe been done at the start of a wipe. Um, but weight changes overall... Uh, I think are a good change. Uh, one thing that you, like, people need to understand, okay? So, people seem to forget this. Tarkov is in testing right now, okay? It's in beta. When the update came out, within four or five hours, they had already adjusted some of the parameters for what, cons what you know, is considered to be overweight. Uh, and a couple of other things as well. They're changing things. What you saw yesterday in the first couple of hours that you played the patch, if you didn't play after the hotfix, this is probably going to change a couple of times over the next two weeks. Like, it's probably going to change, you know, daily, if not, you know, every second day. They're collecting information on it. They're trying to see, you know, like a perfect point of balance for the weight system. Now, they will obviously want to get it to a place where it makes sense to have it, and it's not just a pointless addition for no reason, because... If they make it too high, then everybody will just do what they did before and nothing will matter. It, it will make no difference at all. Um, and then obviously on the opposite end of that, you also don't want people going into raid with a gear set and already being overweight. Uh, you pick up one gun and you're already losing stamina while you're walking, uh, which is obviously not ideal. But again, we're, gonna, we're talking like months here for us to be able to test this correctly because we need to max out our endurance and our strength. Um, or at least get our strength back up to level 20 or so, which was about where mine was before the patch, because I never really trained it. But getting your endurance up as well is going to be important to um, test this out. So this is more of a long-term testing thing, considering the stat reset. Um, 
one thing that I do really, really love about this patch is the uh, independent uh, staminas for your ADSing and for your sprinting. I think that's great. That's a really good addition because uh, it never really made sense that you're sprinting along, then all of a sudden, you know, you hold your gun up and your gun's like this, even though you were running. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, as far as the weight changes go, I think they're good. I understand why some people are upset. Uh, to all the people crying that this is the worst patch ever and it's going to ruin the game, uh, it's nice to see all the people who spoke out when the mag repacking update came out, uh, the meta animation update came out. Uh, you know, it's nice to see all those people back again airing their opinions. Uh, that's cool. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you, kind of. Um, so all I will say is that, like, take this update with a pinch of salt, have fun with it, test it out, play with it, give the devs your feedback, all right? And <laughs> just be patient, because <clears throat> it's going to change over the next week or two. I can almost guarantee you that. Things are going to change. Um, one thing as well, as far as raiders go on interchange... Um, I think there are supposed to be raiders, but they just haven't put them in yet, I think. Or maybe there's like a bug with it or something. Uh, so for the few people asking about that, just wait and see. Um, I don't think the devs have like come out with a response yet, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, but lads, that's gonna be it. This was just a short little video. Uh, I just wanted to get my opinions out there on the weight system. Uh, it's just gonna be a command in my channel. So if you're coming over from the Twitch stream, appreciate you coming over here to watch it. And just the only reason I wanted to do this is because I get asked it. I Like yesterday, I already got asked it a couple hundred times. So I just wanted to be able to link people to a video. It's like, hey, go watch this video real quick. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Um, while this or when this video goes up, I will likely be live on Twitch streaming Tarkov, the new update. So if you guys want to come watch, the link to the Twitch stream is down below. And uh, yeah, that is about it. I think. And yeah, one more thing. If you guys have feedback, like positive feedback, make sure you post it on Reddit for the devs. Post it on Twitter or whatever. Um, if you have any positive feedback or any, you know, changes that you think might be valid, always post them. Always air your opinions, air your thoughts, because they do listen. Uh, believe it or not, they definitely do listen to feedback. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for me. We'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the patch, guys. I'll see you all soon. Peace out, my dudes.